G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, GD. So, we're into episode 10. Episode 10, yes. So, yeah. Um, we've got not many episodes left to try and get everything done. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to get myself power armor. Normally, I don't, rec I, I don't like normal power armor, and I just go straight for power armor mark 2. But we need something. What we have currently is not doing it for me. Uh, on top of that, I really need to do something about, well, red circuits and green circuits and all the circuit production. So, we're going to, rather than running anywhere, we're going to look at our production lines. And we're going to go upgrade planner from there to there to there to there. And we're just going to start upgrading back along the line. Um, that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is not press M to exit map view. Uh, go back to here and I want to say, how much copper are you using exactly? 22. Uh, you're going to have an iron shortage, so we're going to have to upgrade that belt. And that belt. Now, I know that's potentially upgrading a bunch of splitters and other things that I don't necessarily need to upgrade. But I'm going to upgrade them anyway. Um, now, you should be able to use a full belt of potentially a full belt of 30 copper. Each one of these does four and a half. So that would be nine. Uh, nine on 22 is way too much. But we're probably going to do it anyway. So I want to copy from there to there and paste that where everything lines up. Hang on. Where does everything line up? From there to there. Yeah, paste that on the end. Uh, meanwhile, we should have our power armor crafted. So I can strip everything off. Put the power armor on. Throw in the fusion reactors. The night vision. The batteries. We'll move you there. Uh, can I make another set of legs? I need engines but already we're moving a little bit faster i want more speed first more speed is probably the most important thing to me right now just so i can get around the base a little bit easier uh engines yep that's probably enough and that'll probably do me for right now how much she put out 150 use 200 no we're going to need that, and I'm going to need that. So, if I'm moving, we're using battery power. So, I think the answer is going to be handcraft a bunch of those. I don't mind handcrafting stuff. Why can't I make more solar panels? Uh, steel. That belt. Uh, I don't mind handcrafting stuff at this stage, because generally I'm not really handcrafting anything so it's sort of okay all right so that's got us greens well that we run out of copper how far up the belt 27 28 30 so these last two copper assemblers can i please walk through here this guy and his friend on all right that's it trees go away all the trees. These last two will never ever see a bar of copper in their life. So the only way to fix that is by adding more copper. A lot more copper. On top of that, we also have an iron problem. Uh, it's one iron in for one green circuit out. So we're already up to 21. These guys cost three each. So just some quick simple maths. Uh, we're up to 21, so that'd be 25, no, 21, 24, 27, 30. That's as far as we can get on the iron that we have. So, with that said, we're going to run a second copper belt. Uh, uh, there to there, there to there, there to there. And then all of that needs to be sh shifted over to tiles. Uh, that lets me get another one in there. 
and we can run up oh, that into there. Same story with this. I need to shift it over one tile. So I can get a second lane of copper in the red variety in here. We need to copy that, paste that there, paste that there, upgrade planner, anything between there and there. Uh, you're going to be our next lane of copper, which I'm going to take up to wherever that odd inserter is. Uh, here. And actually, it needs to go in with a splitter. So I need to put a splitter, otherwise we're only uh, side-loading the belt. I don't want to side-load the belt. I want to fully load the belt. And... That should give us, hopefully, enough iron and copper. Well, hopefully, yeah, enough iron and copper to keep the lights on and make as many green circuits as we possibly can. Come on. All right. So that sort of maxes out our production going this way. Um, now, in saying that, total amount of green circuits we have is... 78, which is 15, 30, 60. We only fit 60 on a belt going out. So next thing we need to do is, technically what I need to do is I need to, right, nope, other right, do that first. And same story, I need to upgrade planner uh, about that much. Oh, we're already up to 500 processing units per hour. Awesome. Okay, so that should shove all the green circuits across to the top belt, which is exactly where we want them. That's the main spot we're using them. Uh, can I... We'll just do that for the moment. No. Shit. No green circuits? Yeah, one green circuit made its way through. Uh, okay, done. All right, we've tweaked that, we've tweaked that. We've got more green circuits running, which hopefully fills out our belts. Red circuits is, was being held up with green circuits. Well, that should fix that problem. Also means that all these belts need to start looking a little bit more red in color. Uh, which is good because we've been upping the production of the base over and over and over. That now we're at the stage where I should be able to do this and not have the base just slow to a crawl for 45 minutes whilst it makes 10... No, we've got no, absolutely none. No, there's this no, no red belt whatsoever. It's going as fast as it can. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, next thing... That could go into storage. Those solar panels that I was handcrafting that somebody's probably screaming at the screen for are now done. Uh, we want our workshop mark one. Paste that there. That's going to update any more recipes that we've got. No, I don't want that there. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, so the problem with a filtered chest is if any stage... It does not have a filter on it and gets shoved, other crap shoved into it. Uh, it permanently has other crap shoved into it. And will stop working, basically. Uh, I want to actually cap you. Uh, yeah, so there's now none of those anywhere else in the network. Uh... Okay, so we started making substations. I haven't started making these logi chests because we've not done the research. Probably need that research as well. Uh, and I'd love to have concrete. Yes, concrete's also on our list. And you need to become red belt. And what is this belt? This is the iron belt. Okay. Obviously, actually, you know what? Yeah, we can do that safely. Uh, why is copper only going on to... It's not meant to. 
that's why. Uh, yeah, red belt the whole warehousing structure. Uh, where red belt that, red belt that. What else feeds into this? Uh, these guys would be nice if they were red belted. Uh, this would be nice if blueprints, gears. Nope, that's yellow belt. So we'll copy that one and paste it there, there, and sure. What? No, definitely not. Okay, remove those, remove those, remove that. I'll come back and fix that later. I'm gonna have to take the plastic up and out a little bit further. Um, so that should give us more gears running. Um, because obviously this is chewing most of the gears. Science is not chewing that much. Where else do gears go? Into that science, which doesn't chew that much. And into that science, which doesn't chew much. Uh, we will extend that belt out. Whilst we have a gear shortage, we'll extend that belt out. And that belt out. And... You... Don't really go anywhere else, but we'll extend you out anyway. Cool. All right, so we've done all those. Let's go fix. What do we have to fix next? We had to fix gear production again. Uh, nope, turns out I have no red belt on me. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, which means currently I can't move plastic because I have no red belt on me. Um, all right. What else do we want to get done? Ah, concrete. I need concrete, which I'm more than happy to run off yellow belt. Now, concrete requires iron ore and bricks. Uh, iron, iron, uh, iron ore and bricks. Okay, so it's a horrible way of doing things, but concrete's one of those things you just don't need a... Well, not refined concrete, concrete, concrete. Concrete's one of those things you just don't need a lot of. So I'm more than happy to do horrible things when it comes to concrete. Uh, one by... Nope, yellow belt. Extending that out. And yeah, we're going to put that there. Then we're going to put in longhand inserters. Not... Normal inserters, yep. There, there, there. Power pole, there and there. You now have all your ingredients except for the water intake, which, uh, yep, JD does horrible things, actually. Can we have an output first? And you're going to go straight into a non-existent passive provider chest. Okay, where were we? We we're going to run this pipe just through everything. I don't care. We're just going to run straight down to the water. Uh, of course, you won't reach. Uh, speaking of water, actually, can I get one of them? Um, water. Uh, you're there. With two bits of straight pipe. Done. So, that's that up and running. We now have water, which should be making concrete. We need concrete for a rocket silo, which I don't even think we have researched. Um, the other thing we need is mining productivity one, two, uh, th we, we need four mining productivity four uh, modules. So, I need to get them done as well. I also need to make rocket control units, which we haven't researched. Um, they're on the list, we just haven't got there yet. And the actual silo itself is also on the list. Where is the silo? There. Uh, speed modules. Then rocket silo. Yeah, okay. So it's the last couple of researchers are at least picked out. You know, we can't research them yet, but they're picked. Uh, can we get more, more gears, more circuits? No to the gears. 
basically. Uh, left, left, left. Uh, yeah. It dries up this belt entirely, but technically, uh, technically, you guys are putting out. Please say, please say, you are putting out a full red belt worth. Okay. All right. Hang on. At what point are we putting out a full red belt worth? There. Okay. So technically, these guys are doing nothing, so they can go away. We're constructing more machines using robots than manually. Excellent. Uh, all right, so the next thing I want to look at doing, because we have surplus iron, but we have no surplus gears, is we're going to build another one of these. And we're going to dump it right there. And we're going to put in another one of these things. Nope, wrong one. There and there. Uh... And the other one's going to have to go there. <sighs> Underground. And where's this belt? This belt is there which we're gonna bring across up hard against the other one. And underground it in like so. Power should be easy enough. And we're gonna go through some undergrounds doing this. No, wrong tile. That tile, that tile, that tile, that tile, uh, that tile. Okay. Mm. Now, the sad thing is, it's better that things run, even if they run slowly. So, although I'd like to wait for the red belt to be made to get this built, we're just going to slap down all the yellow belt in the world and then give it a gentle swipe and a nudge up to red belt speeds. Uh, that's going to have a nudge as well. Uh, nope, wrong one. That one goes there. Uh, that needs a nudge. That one, that one. The last few. That's going to need a general upgrade. Uh, uh, that needs an upgrade. And then the output. Yep, yellow speed it is. And upgrade. That's definitely the wrong upgrade. We want to go in the opposite direction. Can I please have... Oh, I'll have you two. I need these two belts upgraded. You idiots. Uh, handcrafting? There we go. Okay. Alright. So that should get us more gears. Should. Um, you are basically running as fast as you possibly can. And it's still not enough. Alright. Uh, next down the tech tree is... Actually, two things on the tech tree is... One's rocket fuel. And the second one is rocket control units. So rocket control units are... Still not researched. Um, they're processing units and speed modules, which suck because they're all circuit items, which we already don't have enough of. And rocket fuel is actually the easier of the two. It is just a whole heap of light oil. Um, so if you remember back up here, we have light oil in a tank, and this is designed to stay up to 20K. If it gets over 20K, we pump the light oil out. On top of that, we have 
this pipe here, which is our light oil cracking from heavy, but it's also a direct link into this storage tank. Plus we have this option here, this, this extra fourth connection. And I'm actually thinking we're going to make light oil right here. So I'm going to 1,000 processing units per hour. That's nice. All right. So I'm thinking right here is where we're going to make our rocket fuel. Um, I already know this build's going to be too big, but that's perfectly fine. We're going to make a lot of rocket fuel because, you know, never hurts to have too much rocket fuel just in case, you know, I don't know, you need to launch all your family to space or something like that. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Done, done, done. Uh, done. Uh, power, power, power. Um, can bots come and put down some chem plants, please? So I can set some recipes. Because once I've set recipes, I can copy and paste so much more efficiently. Uh, rotate. Okay. You guys, all of you go away. Uh, copy paste you're also rotated the wrong way so we've got one little copy right here which we're gonna go paste 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 and paste uh, and turns out we need a power pole on the other side to power up these guys because we're using small tiny shitty power poles but that's fine because I had plenty of them and then we need to take it in our rocket fuel uh, take in our yeah our rocket fuel add a sprinkle of light oil to it um just just a tiny squeeze tiny like like lemon drop squeeze in your iced tea uh and then we get out rocket fuel uh, just needs just needs a light little bit more light oil i don't know why it's what the devs decided but that becomes don't Build that to there. That becomes our rocket fuel build. Okay. Now we're using how much? We're making 12 solid fuel. And you guys use two and a half. Uh, so I already know that... What's that? If that's two and a half, that would be five. Uh, you need to go there. Uh, with output, with input, with power, uh, copy, paste, output, input, oil pipe that needs to jig jag, jig, jig jag, zigzag over a tile. Uh, cool. Uh, Roboport right about here, please. And which one's the rocket fuel? The left one, right? Yeah, the left one. Okay, so that means the right belt gets cut off here. Left one, yep, comes out to here. And three, four, five of those. Yep, five of those. And lots of chests. That's how we're dealing with our rocket fuel problem. We're just putting it in a chest. Now, it is perfectly fine to put rocket fuel in a chest and have the bots fly across the bat because you don't make that much of it. It really doesn't matter that much because you don't make that much of it. If it was an item that you're making a lot of, like concrete, no, not really even concrete, red and green science, something like that. If it was an item you're making a lot of, I wouldn't recommend having bots fly across the network bar, or across the map. Um, gears, gears, the prime example. Like, do not fly gears across your map. That's just silly. Uh, okay, iron, gears, gears are now running, gears are now happy. Uh, so I need to move you back and also move you up. left I don't think I need to do anything else with gears like this uses more gears than anything else 
Uh, green circuits is definitely running. It looks happier. It you're not getting copper. Why? Oh, because you don't have your split of water fountain. Uh, a waterfall rather. Yeah, there and there and there. Fill those across. Uh, you don't have a waterfall either. Okay, so what we're doing is we're constantly stealing from the bottom lane. Uh, actually, apart from you. So, left and left. Uh, that might come back to haunt us too quickly. <clears throat> so yeah, we're constantly stealing from the bottom lane. So we can see, hopefully after green circuits. No. Oh, we can start to see it. See, we can start to see, like, we've definitely used at least half a lane of, of copper at this point. Um, because it's just not appearing. Uh, Alright, so you guys are going flat out. Iron's going flat in. We have lots of green circuits coming out. Every single assembler in this build should be ticking on. Uh, no. We have green circuits stack up on one side of the belt. Okay. Uh... Alright, so 10,000 items. Excellent. Achievements left, right, and center. Uh, what we can do is I can build. Oops. <sighs> I can build a 4 to 4 lane balancer. Uh, nope, other way. Uh, do, 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 do. Stop that. Okay. In, out. Okay. And then we can have you left. Yeah, left, left. So hopefully that balances out some of this mayhem. Um, probably not. Uh, but it should be okay. Uh, aha. Yeah, if we don't put in the waterfalls all the way through... We're definitely going to have problems. On top of that, it looks like the end of this is definitely not running at a proper realistic red speed. Where's... So you're definitely running happily. Uh, you need the uh, other way around, please. Left. Uh, plastic looks way better than it once was. Green circuits also looks way better than it once was. Yeah, it's backing right the way up now. Steel is looking like it's got better times. No, left. Uh, there to there. Now, if we remember all the way back to the steel episode, I did say technically I have... Two fifths of red belt, two fifths of red belt, two fifths of red belt. So it means technically I have six fifths of a red belt. So I have just uh, six fifths of a yellow belt. That's right. So two fifths of the yellow, two fifths of the yellow, two fifths of the yellow, which means technically I have a little bit faster than a red belt coming out. Uh, a little bit faster than a yellow belt coming out. So we should be able to mass upgrade all the long here without too much issue. Where the hell is all that steel going? substations um with 380 in the chest i can already see that's not capped or it's capped to no it is capped okay never mind i take that back uh that's not capped that's a little bit excessive jd uh you're capped so you weren't what else oh yeah that'll use a bit of steel and <sighs> We're going to cap that one. I use a bit of steel as well. Yeah, definitely cap that one too. That's, yeah, that's a little bit of steel there. And nuclear is already capped. Uh, okay, so we're just... All the things that eat all the steel are running. Okay, red belt. Uh, there is finally 10 in stock. So, nope, we still don't have red belt. Uh, rocket control units are almost researched. Do I need to upgrade plan anything else? I don't think so 
I just need that bit of red belt done, which will free up more steel. Uh, technically, you guys don't need to get done. It's just that little bit there. Uh, I don't need all that yellow belt. And you guys. You guys are actually what worry me now. Green circuits are not making all the way up. Why for not? Probably just a blip from where I rearrange things. Okay. But now we've fixed green circuits and fixed green circuits. We should... Hang on. Before I go and dump all the green circuits, let's go fix a steel problem. Then we'll fix the green circuits. And then we'll never see another one again. Uh, it probably also doesn't hurt that it doesn't help that I'm making substations which chew red circuits. Uh, this belt. Cool, done. All right, that should fix the steel problem. We'll even throw a wiggly wob on there, and we'll throw a full wiggly wob on here, which is a lane balancer. So this will take equally from both lanes. Um, and, and basically redistrib redistribute both lanes, both both of these two lanes onto both of these two lanes. So it's referred to as a lane balancer, um, but that should give me a full red belt of steel out, which, like I said, I was considering making a second belt of steel. It's something we still might end up doing. I don't think we should need to, but, you know, we might do it anyway. And then we're going to come to our lovely red circuit build. And I don't know, how much do I have on me? About that much. Go bots! You missed a bit. Okay, we made it that far. That's another 138. Do I have 138? No, I got 50 on me. Although, how much do you guys just run off with? Maybe we do have 130 on me. Turns out I did. Yep. Alright, green circuits, green circuits, green circuits. You're still going okay. You're still feeding okay. <clears throat> um, I didn't think to check. How much do you provide on half a lane out? Is seven and a half. So no, we're fine because this actually no, we're not. That's that's the max that we can get out of this build on this half of this belt and this half of this belt. So when we merge them together, this should be a full yellow belt of um full yellow belt of red circuits out. Okay, that one that one yeah we'll do all the way to the end okay so now we are getting red circuits to the end which technically means this build here you know i said it would be your biggest build technically double the length of it um we still do have biters oh they haven't got anywhere near our pollution range stupid forests um so yeah technically i can double the length of this and honestly i probably should have planned a little bit better in advance and made sure I had enough room to the left or right of this to put down a second build rather than doubling the length of it. Um, and left it at yellow belt speed and just built two of them. Uh, but it is what it is. So, uh, where are we? No, we're at 34 minutes. So, I'm going to call this episode here. Hopefully, hopefully, we start getting enough red circuits out of this build that we can actually start doing something with them uh, and start looking at rocket control units, which steal speed modules and processing units. Of course, processing units uh, need red circuits. Speed modules need red and green circuits. Um, actually, that's one thing I do want to do. I want to, before I forget, pick up just a, like a stack of... Not really, actually, let's just dump that straight in there. I want to go into the this build before I forget again, again, again. 
and build that guy and that guy which I had earlier. Put down two of those. Cap that to two slots. Cap that to one slot. We want you as a future project to pick up those, and we want you to pick up those. So I want a stack of um, I want to stack a stack of um, productivity modules because I need to well I need to craft four prod mod fours, and on top of that we're going to start using those modules here, there, and everywhere, all over the base. Uh, if I grab just this, I can make one. One's a good start. Oh, wow, we got an electricity problem again. Oh, okay. Mm, four, five, six, no, more blue circuits. Two. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, next episode, more power problems. Uh, three, four. Uh, did that extra power ever get hooked up? Yep, it did. So I need to duplicate that again. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know what else we need to do. Um, because red circuits are about as fixed as they're going to get. Um, yeah. Yeah. Power problems first. Look for whatever we need to improve in the next episode. In the next episode. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.